hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so my name is elizabeth and for returning subscribers or returning viewers thank you once again for coming and if this is your first time here on this channel like i said my name is elizabeth and so basically what is happening here on this channel what we do on this channel is just you know sewing tutorials pattern drafting tutorials fashion diys and you know just everything revolving around the fashion side so today's tutorial is about this very very short video about what measurement that is needed to create your sewing machine belt or rope and i'll be using elastic for this um, tutorial because most people use rope where they create into sort of like tiny little quarter inch um quarter inch strip long strip but i'll be using an elastic for this video so if you want to know how you can create belt or machine rope you can watch the video and when you watch this video you love it you know you find it helpful you can click on the like button subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell to get more notified when i upload new videos and new tutorials so the video is basically short and it should be helpful because at first I remember when I started I also was curious about that so until I learned it and I'm here and I'm like okay there are people out there that they're new to sewing and all that so they don't know what length or what um, measurements to use to create their machine belt so let's get right into this right okay so to start with i'll be nipping off or cutting off my old thread or my old belt look at how worn out it is and i haven't even used it for long okay so this is the new elastic thread i'll be using and um this is just for like i want to use it for an indicator so now i'm going to be measuring 28 inches here I could either use 28 or 31 or 30 inches long long for my machine belt or machine rope so here I'll just be marking 28 with my marker I'll be marking 28 and I'll also come down to mark 30 so I place this aside having marked this now i'm not going to cut it as of yet but i'm just going to test it fixing the machine all around fixing the belts all around my machine to make to know if this 28 is enough or if i'm going to be using 30. so let me just adjust the camera to this side i'm actually squatting right now so like <laughs> yes no mind the really so Okay, so as how's the true like so let's go and pass it speed. Okay, I forgot that since I'm not cutting it right now, let me just go and pass it in between and up here. Right, so up here as well. And I'll go ahead and pass it right through the other end, the other rope, um, the other hole. Just trying to pass it along. Okay, so I'm passing it through the other end, right? Okay, 
Okay, so after passing it around all throughout the places, so this is our first mark point here. This is 28 inches. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and tie it into a knot, double knotted for now. If you do it in a single knot, it's going to lose immediately. Like it's going to do so. I'll be double knotting it for now. Not in a really tight way because if it's not, if it's not going to accommodate, if 28 inches is not going to accommodate it, I'm still gonna have to lose it to make to move it all the way to 30 inch for it to accommodate, right? So what I'll be doing now is to fix the thread, the elastic at the position to fix it in the position. It's a little hard to make. Okay, so it's fixed in. It's fixed in, right? So, what we need to do is to just sort of like check it out. But if we're not sure, since we can't test out the machine with this remaining thread, I'm just gonna nip it at the 30 inch, where we max 30 inches. So I've cut it, I'll be keeping this aside, so it's time to test out the machine, how it feels. Okay, so now we're on the machine to test out how it feels and how it goes along. Okay, so this is it here, we're testing it and it's smooth, it's going really smooth on my leg. Like, it's going really, really smooth. So, I'm telling you all, this 28 inches worked for me, so, for, it doesn't really... It's not really for everyone you can use 28 but you can use 28 or you can use 30 inches but these are just the me inches measurements that we need when creating our when trying to fix our elastic machine belt so you can see i'm just sewing trying to like imagine the sewing and it's going smoothly doesn't give me any like issues so i'm really comfortable with the 28 inches so yeah so thank you once again for joining me on this tutorial, on this short tutorial. So I hope you learned a thing or two, even though it's not that long, but still you should. Because a lot of people out there have issues knowing what inches to put for their machine belt. So thank you once again for this channel, for this, for joining me on this tutorial. So if you're not yet subscribed, please oh, you should subscribe because my content and what I'll be uploading, my YouTube tutorial to be helpful. So you subscribe, you hit the like button and click on the notification bell to get notified of when more videos will be popping up. So thank you once again for coming by to my channel and for staying to the end of this tutorial. So until the next one.